Sanju Verma, let's start with you. And I would appreciate if answers are kept short. Uh, just very quickly, Sanju Verma, do you concede that the government cannot pass the buck on this to the opposition? The GST council is recommendatory in nature. The government, if it wanted, in the midst of an inflation, where retail inflation is above 7%, wholesale above 15%, could have said, no, we are not going to raise taxes at the moment on pre-packaged food items. We want to give the middle class a break. Would you concede that the government could have taken that line or not? Rajdeep, uh, it was a rather lengthy but a very pertinent question. Without beating around the bush, let me tell you one thing very, very clearly. Lose dal, lose atta, lose lassi, lose curd, lose suji, lose maida, lose rava, lose pulses. These attract 0% GST. Now you might wonder, what is it then that will be taxed at 5%? Nirva Sitaraman has today tweeted out and explained it less. Rajdeep, branded suji, branded atta, branded pulses, branded oats, branded maize were always taxable at 5%. All that we are saying now is to cut down on tax leakages, not just branded suji, not just branded atta, not just branded lassi, not just branded dahi, but pre-packaged and pre-labeled food items. Now, does this mean that for a Rajiv Sardesai or Sanju Verma, the net impact after 5% on pre-packaged and pre-labeled foods is higher? No. This is only to curtail tax leakages and it is revenue. No, no, may, no, no many people buy pre and Sanju Verma, I don't know about you, but I certainly Let's use pre-packaged dahi. No, no, to say Why that... To suggest that pre-packaged items should not be seen as having been hiked, you know... May I please finish? Yes. You know, you don't, you don't like to be uh, heckled, but you have this habit of heckling me. I will take only 30 seconds more. The point is, the 5% GST on pre-packaged, pre-labeled food is revenue neutral, will not generate extra revenue for the government, but will flood tax leakages. You spoke about inflation. In the last eight years, retail inflation under the Modi government on an average has been 4.9%. Under the Congress, it was 8.4%. And I will quickly just tell you one thing. When Rajiv, you used to go out and eat back in uh, 2017 when GST was implemented. In restaurants, we used to pay service tax and other charges to the tune of 28%. Today, whether you eat in an AC restaurant or non-AC restaurant, GST is 5%. On affordable homes, GST is 1%. On non-affordable luxury homes, GST is 5%. Do you know something? When Arun Jaitley uh, brought in GST by taking opposition into confidence, the entire opposition state, BJP rule, non-BJP rule, we had agreed that in five years or six years down the line, the revenue neutral rate will be 1.5, 15.5%. But do you know today what the revenue neutral rate is? 11.4%. So we are actually charging much lower than what we had envisaged when we started to implement GST. Okay. So I think opposition has lost its moral credibility. They want to rake up issues to be to now Jitna to okay, I, okay, you made your point. Let me also say that retail inflation has successfully successively over the last year and more remained well above the I RBI's rate. Yeah, the last the eight no, no. Years. I, I, I am talking average about today, ma'am. I am talking years, about in the last one year. Okay, let um, let Supriya Shinet let let Supriya Shinet respond. Okay, Supriya Shinet, you want to respond? The, uh, the strong point that Sanju Verma makes is that a she is comparing inflation today to what it was in the Manmohan Singh years. But more importantly, the question that you will have to answer: Your finance ministers were there at that meeting when these hikes were decided. Why didn't you all raise a red flag then? Do economics is that you do something, then you have to put out a 14 tweet thread to explain it. You a 14 tweet thread to explain it. You can hardly convince anybody because you haven't been able to convince your own prime minister. And just for the benefit of your viewers, I will play a 40 second audio bite of the prime minister from way back in 2019. Please listen to this bite and explain to your people what the prime minister. Please keep is it near your. Say. Please keep it near your mic. दही लच्छी छाछ इस पर भी टैक्स लगता था 
आज ये सब जीएसटी के बाद टैक्स फ्री हो गए तो और बड़ी खबर आप दिस इज दिस इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ द कंट्री टेलिंग द वर्ल्ड दैट 2019 के बाद दिस इज अ बाइट फ्रॉम 2019 थाउजेंड नाइनटीन वेर इज टेलिंग एवरीबडी पहले टैक्स करता था मैंने सब टैक्स फ्री कर दिया है इज निर्मला सीतारामन नॉट बींग एबल टू कन्विंस द प्राइम मिनिस्टर और इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर लाइन टू द कंट्री दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ वुड वू इकोनॉमिक्स इफ यू आस्क मी आई विल आंसर द डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन इन्फ्लेशन एंड देन आई विल आंसर योर क्वेश्चन ऑन वाई द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर स्टांस एंड वाई वी आर प्रोटेस्टिंग द प्रॉब्लम विद पीपल हु कम हियर एंड यू नो एलिक्वेंटली कोर्ट नंबर्स इज Inflation is not in isolation. What is the real rate of growth? What is the GDP growth that the BJP can quote in the last eight years? And what is the level of inflation minus that is the real level of growth? They will never be able to answer that question because growth under them has completely plummeted. No jobs, no investments, which is why growth is plummeting. Forget about that. The real problem, Rajdeep, is when Nirmala Sita Raman turns around and blames the opposition states for being a part of those meetings. and now protesting she undermines two things she undermines parliament where every issue regarding the common man can be raised irrespective of whatever stand a finance minister may have taken or even a state finance minister have taken the price rise is a real issue of our time sure, but you why was it not raised why was how do you expect parliament why was it not raised, raised by your finish. finance ministers I in that gst council i'm answering your question rajdeep this can be a moral argument you given a ma'am ma'am don't intervene sanju ji Sanju ji, you cannot interrupt. No, you cannot. No, no, she will speak. You have to be fair. Please, uh, producer. Everyone will have the same time. Go ahead. Go ahead, Supriya. GST Council is recommendatory in nature. Nobody knows the macroeconomic situation better than India's Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Why did she allow? that to be endorsed i would want to ask does she not know rupees falling is going to worsen inflation does she not know cpi is above 7% consistently i also want to tell you the truth that they are not telling you if the packaged item is more than 25 kg then there is no gst on it who is buying less than 25 kg aata dal chawal tel 25 liter ya 25 kg se upar hai to koi gst nahi hai uske niche hai to gst lagega who is buying it the low middle class and the poor i also want to understand who in india is now buying loose ration items only in pds shops everybody else is buying packaged items why are you penalizing them the third important point and it's a very important point to make here shouldn't packaging be promoted shouldn't people have access to hygienically packaged products you are essentially disincentivizing the poor why did you not raise this why did your finance ministers not raise this ma'am why did your finance ministers not raise this all the points you are making could have been question. raised by congress and opposition uh, uh, finance the, ministers if you read interesting question let me please finish interesting question if you read the twitter thread of shrimati nirmala sitaraman ji 12 of 14 and 14 of 14 talks about consensus the word unanimous that was spoken up until now is suddenly missing its consensus which means people objected and which is why consensus was built this wasn't a unanimous decision okay this was brought to the I... council right under the nose of ms sita raman she could have well said no and one one more flaw there is no gst there is no input tax credit that you get on milk you are going to put gst on lassi and on dahi the prices will be passed on it's exactly the same for every commodity the problem with voodoo policy making is that the left arm doesn't know what the right is doing the small traders are doomed because they are not a part okay, of the okay i want to stop you for a moment talks. they are your time is up for penal action right your now your time is up otherwise sanju verma will say that i'm giving you extra time but i'm joined at this moment by dr amit mitra dr amit mitra remember was one of those architects in a way of this gst system former finance minister now financial advisor to mamta banerjee west bengal chief minister dr mitra is the gst regime in a way under strain that all the states want excess revenues out of the gst regime and therefore they are not objecting to these hikes because hikes mean more revenues and because states are struggling with their revenues it's not just the center but state governments are also accepting these hikes and the gst regime itself has come under strain as a result Rajiv ji let me give you a few points first of all it is important for the for your viewers to understand that the center has decided to stop compensating the states 
I had written a formal letter to the Union Finance Minister, which I think your channel and others also carried, where I clearly said to the Union Finance Minister that as Chairman of the Empowered Committee of Finance Ministers, when GST was created, when Mr. Arun Jaitley was the Union Finance Minister, we took a five-year period. In the five-year period, there was no question of a COVID, a global pandemic, which cost us three years. So the uh, question is, you, we must increase the period of compensation for another three years at least. Now, just to give you an idea, we have been nine more months to go in this financial year. No compensation to the states, which means over a lakh and a half crores, 1.5 lakh crores, will be required by the states for compensation. Without, where are they going to raise this money from? Now, you're saying that these uh, rates can be raised. There is a group of ministers, GOM chaired by the Chief Minister of Karnataka, who's a BJP Chief Minister. Mm -hmm. Now, they have not been able to come to a con consensus. Why? Not a decision even. Why? Because they know that the minute these rates are going up, mm -hmm. where the Modi government has failed in the inflationary area, immediately it will trigger inflation. You increase GST, all prices will go up. So this is one point. The second no, why, point I want no, no, to... No, but why, 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 were, why were ministers, including Bengal's uh, minister, silent? Why did they not raise their they voice? They were not silent. They were not silent. Our position was absolutely clear that this is not the time from the macroeconomic perspective of any economist you ask. When inflation is raging, mm -hmm. unemployment raging, rupee has hit the worst condition of 80 rupees a dollar, Foreign institutional investors are pulling out of the country in this environment of almost chaotic condition. Mm -hmm. Do you want to trigger a rise in GST um, uh, rates, mm -hmm. which will then result in absolutely accelerating process, adding to the inflation vis-a-vis -vis oil and so, everything else? So what's so the solution? All so what's the solution? What's that the solution? This was an inoptimal macroeconomic time. When countries going through a crisis, right. why have foreign investors run away? The largest running away in recent times. Mr. Modi must know that. He's going all over the world propagating for India and hugging leaders and so on and so forth with good intention. What is the fact? Fact is foreign institutional investors are pulling out of India at a massive rate. So rupee is now at a state. Mr. Modi himself had criticized the last government on the question of rupee going up a little bit, 53 rupees a dollar. So your Today it is 80 rupees a dollar. So can, I, can, I, can I just sum so We you? have a crisis. My, my submission to you, yes, go ahead. Rajdeep Ji, is, is this the time that you start tinkering with GST rate when your compensation period needs to be increased first? So state finances are ruined. No state in the country will reach anywhere close to the protected revenue, okay. which was the guarantee given when the GST was introduced. In fact, today GST has become a major, it's got stuck in the throat of, of the nation because it has the compensation to states is undermining federalism completely is not been extended by at least three years when there was no pandemic. Okay. I was the chair of the, uh, of, the, of the committee meeting held in Kolkata. Arun Jaitley was upstairs, he came down and, he, and we all had a consensus. There was no pandemic in view. There was no three years lost. So what stops the government? Mm -hmm. By the way, they were not giving us money. They were borrowing from the reserve bank and back to back transferring the debt to the states, which means state was bearing the burden. I'm Why can't you continue the back-to-back -back borrowing of the compensated amount? There is no argument in favor against that. My question is, understand the macro picture. Mm -hmm. The economy is in a state of complete tailspin, with rupee reaching 80, inflation going up, and ruin of the informal and unorganized sector are very difficult times for small and medium enterprises and not being able to compensate the states for the protected revenue. 
guaranteed when the GST was introduced. I'm what gonna, is GST? I'm going to leave it's it there. Dr. Mitra, Dr. Mitra, you've in a sense expressed the anger and the anguish that state governments have, especially opposition rule governments which are claiming they're not being compensated enough. And you are claiming significantly tonight that many of the state finance ministers had objected to the hikes at a time where inflation is high. This is not including, the time. Including, including the BJP states have privately told me, because they're all my friends in the GST council. Right. They all are telling us, please fight for compensation. Okay. Otherwise, our financial condition will collapse, just as any other states. You, you they are... They cannot say it publicly okay, because let... of the nature of the regime you have. Let me let... But they're privately telling us, please fight for us. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, Dr. Mitra. I appreciate your joining us because you've given us some perspective in a way of someone who's an insider into this regime. Thank you very much. But Sanju Verma, let me therefore turn to you. You've heard now that even some BJP finance ministers in private are saying, don't do it. And yet the government has gone ahead with it. And at this time... At a time when retail inflation is at 7.01%, was this the time? What was the compulsion? Sanju Verma is a question that will be asked and should be asked. Rajdeep, Rajdeep you allowed uninterrupted time to Amit Mitra. The Congress panelists, uh, you know, spoke non-stop. I will take very little time to nail the bluff of the opposition. First and foremost, every year since GST was, GST was implemented, States have been getting every year 2.19 lakh crore as GST compensation. On top of that, every month they get 9,700 crores as revenue deficit grant, point number one. So Amit Pitra needs to go back and learn basic economics. West Bengal and Kerala have been getting the highest GST compensation from the central government. Now the big, uh, you know, uh, narrative about what is Modi government done for middle class has done nothing. No, 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 I don't know. You are, no, no, I don't know. The narrative is not that. That is not the narrative. The narrative is why now? You have not answered my question. Was this, what was the imperative to do this hike now? Don't, don't change the goalpost. Rasmeet, I am not changing the goalpost. You are an anchor, not a propagandist. You allowed a free run to Amit Mitra. He spoke about how the economy is in ruin. Let me just take 30 seconds, please. Let me tell you that foreign direct investment was $84 billion last year. The year prior to that, $83 billion. Today, our tax to GDP ratio is just 11.7%. Whereas, ideally, any tax expert will tell you that an economy which is $3 trillion plus should have tax to GDP of 20%, which means we are an under-taxed economy. And this whole narrative about unemployment runs in 10 seconds. Under the Mudra Yojana, we have given 199 no, to 35 crore NTTs. 35 crore people are today self-employed. I am not debating the state of the economy, of the madam. I am debating inflation rising prices. You have not answered me, my question. Okay, what was the imperative me, to do it now? Forget you, everything else. Can you, Rajin, stop interrupting? Rajin, no, I am giving you 30 you seconds to, to answer you? this. Do you want the BJP's views or do you want to be a heckler? Are you an answer or a professional heckler? No, 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 please, ma'am. Again, you are targeting no, 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 me. because you are running an agenda. No, I, I, I take strong seconds. objection to these I words. I need my 30 seconds. You answer my question. I need my 30 seconds. You answer my question. Yes. I will answer what I have to answer because you asked Amit Sitra to say that the economy is in ruins and you he want to... He didn't say the economy is in ruins. He did not say Let that. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, Rajiv Sarbesai, Lot has been, uh, you know, spoken about the rupee touching 8080. Basically, the rupee has depreciated by 7% in the last one year. The euro, the British pound and the Japanese yen have depreciated by between 12 to 14%. Supriya Shmine is laughing shamelessly. We did 8.9% GDP growth last year. IMF said in the coming year, India will be the fastest growing economy. Congress has to ye haal hai. Ma'am, ma'am, okay, producer, you... They are tigers in TV studio. Okay, they are tigers in TV studio. Supriya, you didn't answer my question. What was the imperative to raise GST at this moment? No answer to that, but Supriya Srinath, as you heard from Amit Mitra, can we therefore expect that the Congress finance ministers will also show the red flag? 
Are the Congress finance ministers willing to accept that they went along with the G even on petrol prices? The fact is, the duty structure in most Congress states is way higher than BJP rule states. All of you want excess revenue. There is a revenue crisis, and you're passing it on to middle class people, including myself. I insist I'm middle class, and I believe that you're passing it on to us. No, you know that you are wrong, and I'll appreciate your balancing act. I have no issues. No, with no, that. I don't. I will, though, no, no. What is your duty is structure? Which is which is the Congress ruled second. state that has brought down taxes? I am telling you. I am telling you. Now wait, patience. Patience is the name of the game. First, I want to bust two myths here. This tax-paying India. Everybody in India is paying tax. If you are putting GST on things like flour and common flour and dal. Everybody in India is paying GST. Mm. So please stop this bogey that the BJP comes and does. Middle class India paying taxes. Everybody in India from the rickshawala mm. to the richest Indian is paying the same level of tax on the GST. Firstly, 36% mm. of mudra loans by the way have turned NPA so they should stop quoting mudra loans. Now to answer your direct question. Rajdeep, just to put things in perspective. When late Sri Arun Jaitley got the states to agree to move from VAT to GST, there were two conditions. The first condition was that GST compensation will be given at the rate of 14% protect, tax, protected revenue system. Where is that? A small state like Chhattisgarh is losing 14,000 crore rupees. How do you expect states to function? States have functions to carry out. It's very good for us to sit on our high pulpits, whether in television studios or in parliament, and preach the states like the BJP does. But that is not the solution. A small okay. state like Chhattisgarh is losing 14,000 crore rupees. What is the solution? There were two things that Arun Jaitley had promised, compensation. And the second thing had, was presumed that economy will be boosted in the next five years. That hasn't happened. Economy has crippled. It has ruined our government. Can I, government. Can I, I, don't can know I stop you? Can I stop you and Sanju Verma both now? Because I am, as I run over sure. time, I know Rohit Jain, partner economic laws practice, has waited patiently. We had Amit Mitra who came in also for a moment. Rohit, I want you to give a final word. I'm sorry, I, you know, you've been listening at the moment. What is the truth of it? Is there a way to make sure that the GST system becomes even more transparent and perhaps more effective? Yeah, so Rajdeep, let me just take, first of all, what is this impact of this new set of levies? As has been said, branded Ata, Dal, all of them were liable to tax even prior to this amendment lose goods that is unbranded was not liable so unbranded could be in the two forms either it is packed or it is in the loose form so the effectively what has happened now instead of the concept of branded now we have gone to the concept of pre-packed and labeled so pre-packed and labeled is much wider concept than the branded right therefore the objective which has been stated by the finance minister is that there was some leakage of tax there was some malpractices which have been followed by the big players where the branded under the guise of unbranded, the GST has been evaded. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that if the purpose is to tax those transactions, can we not amend the definition of branded? Or now to clarify that the packet, which is even the small retailer, small grocery shop who is now selling the packaged right. sort of atta dal, that should still continue to be not liable. Because that is not appears to be an objective to tax that transaction. And the entire situation which is now being created is that it has been taxed at a smaller class people for the country and it is the inflation is rising. If the objective is to only tax the evaders, the objective is to tax something which is under the guise of unbranded selling the branded goods, you could have some other mechanism to clarify that position. Or maybe even today, give right. some sort of uh, clarity or exemption that this pre-packaged or labeled does not mean that anything which is just merely packed in a bag will suddenly become liable to GST. I think that's the most important thing that okay. ideally country is looking at it from this sort of an amendment. Okay, let me leave it there for now. As I said, there will have to be a wider debate on the way the GST council at the moment is able to achieve the necessary spirit of consensus that was part of the original GST arrangement between government and opposition ruled states. I know, uh, uh, Sanju, you want to intervene, but I've run completely out of time, dear. I've run completely out of time, and don't blame me, and don't call me an agent, 
and with an agenda and a propagandist. I try and do a new show and try and give all of you a chance to be heard. I leave it to the viewer to decide. But I appreciate that all of you have joined us because I believe this is a subject that in a way affects all of us, including the middle class like me.